welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in The Sims 4, we are recording episode 4 of our ABC Legacy. If you want to check out the challenge, the rules will be linked down below as well as the playlist for this challenge. So this is the third generation. And if you don't remember last episode, we went on a lot of dates and poor Calliope, she just can't find true love. So basically we left Yoltik because we saw Carlos and we thought, wow, he is so cute. And I don't know, I feel like we just didn't get along or there was no chemistry there but I think maybe we can actually try going on a date this episode with Carlos and seeing if maybe we can work together I, I'm still not sure and we also went on a date with Carson he went out with Carmine and yeah they're lovers they are in a relationship they're going to prom together as friends she's also in the football team so that is good we also went on a date with Clover and and I don't know, I like Lizette. I think, no, I know Clover. She was being mischievous, so Lizette decided to end the date, which is not good. So our girl has work in two hours. I'm gonna have her get ready, so she needs to take a shower. You need to use the bathroom and get something to eat. So she doesn't have work today, so she could possibly go back out with Lizette. So that will be good. We do have spoiled food in here. And I guess for breakfast, she could possibly have tofurkey dinner. Oh, you also need to use the bathroom. I'm also gonna have him apply facial cleanser and take a shower. You don't want to be stinky. He's gonna be stinky for school and hungry. Oh well. Okay, are you good? Do you need to eat something? She's going to family kiss her sister. Oh, that's so nice. Maybe before work you can serve breakfast. I'm thinking that maybe she can serve fruit salad. I don't know what her cooking skill is. Her cooking skill is level 2, so it would be good to get that up. Tomorrow is the romance festival so I wonder if we should go to that maybe we can find someone special oh she's cooking something well isn't that nice and then she's gonna grill something I literally told you to grab leftovers Carson is off to school Bailey is up she's also hungry everyone is hungry this morning how about we join her cooking that could be fun I'm afraid to say this but I think Allie is gonna die this episode I am not excited for that I will say they're a little loud to me I'm gonna turn their voices down just because I feel like they're a little loud and it kind of distracts me from talking. See, that looks delicious. Grab a serving. Okay, Benny is still sleeping. He's also hungry. He's gonna eat the turfricky dinner. So she gets off at 5 p.m. So maybe that's when she can go out on her date. She could probably invite Carlos to the romance festival. So that would be good. We're gonna release the steam. Hopefully it's good quality. Oh my gosh, that's horrible quality. Girl, no, we're not gonna eat that. So Calliope is off to work. I I think I'm going to ask Lizette on a date and hopefully she says yes. We do have a little bit of romance. Oh, Blair is here. That's nice. We're gonna go on a romantic date, but I'm thinking that maybe we can save the moment, be friendly, be romantic. I guess we could sing together. I'm gonna go to the bar that I made. I'm so sorry. So it says to sing, so maybe we'll start off with that or maybe we should actually talk to her first. So I'm gonna apologize and tell an engaging story. She is a little tense, so hopefully we can make her feel better. Okay, that was a good interaction. Please forgive us. Thank you. She's still tense. It's gonna get better. We still haven't done any small talk, so let me do that real quick. We're gonna ask about career and get to know. She's unemployed. Oh, she got royalties of $23. That's good. So maybe sinking will help her get untensed. Let's see how this goes. We're gonna sing in front of everyone instead of using like the private rooms because there's no one to watch us right so this makes sense level one of singing they're such good singers i think we completed the goal i enjoy listening to them so next they want us to stargaze oh someone is using our bench well we can do it up here so that's good oh my gosh what if they have their first woohoo in the blanket oh please tell me you're not you cannot see the sky in here we're inside what is wrong with you you see a couch and you think oh we can definitely see the sky from here how about we go here together well it completed it so that's good but we can just talk on the roof no she's gonna end 
a date. She just was being mischievous. I don't understand why you're being mischievous. Um, maybe we can whisper sweet nothings and flirt. Oh, was that a rejection? Oh, well, it's awkward. Be insulted by Lizette? Okay, you know what? You're a jerk. I'm not dating you. You can stay in your ugly towny outfits. I thought this was going to be the episode where we can move Clover out, but it seems that's not going to happen. And we did get a sentiment. So our sentiments, terrible date, terrible date. Well, that's Lizette's fault. She can lose our number. Well, it's 1 p.m. It's still pretty early. So I'm going to go on Cupid's Corner and hopefully we can find someone to date. Like, look at our pro profile. Maybe instead of goofball, I can tell everyone that I am a high self-esteem person. Oh my gosh, the outfits are terrible. We have Jason. He's loyal, perfectionist. I mean, that's just what we need. What if we date Penny Pizzazz? I never dated her before, but I think I want to. I'm gonna ask to create a date. We don't know her that well, so it might be a no, but hopefully she says yes anyway. She did, so we're gonna go on a get to know you date and we can have it at the same location. So she's all the way over here. She looks like a townie, so that's not good. So maybe we can come sit here together. So I'm gonna share people person tips and then it wants us to talk about video games. Seek validation on being a catch. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, we got a sentiment. You're so fun to be around. That's nice. She's outgoing. See, this is going so much better. So she's an A-lister at sims.tv. Now it wants us to play video games. So we're gonna play Party Frenzy with Penny Pizzazz. This is a pretty good date. Who doesn't like gaming together? Oh, Carson got below average on his exams. That is not good. Okay, now it wants us to flirt and talk about video games. Okay, so we won. That's nice. She seems a little mad about it, but... Hopefully that's okay. So I'm gonna make a flirtatious joke and compliment appearance. Oh, she's smitten with us. And then I guess we can take a photo with her, except it's gonna have to be my phone camera. Gorgeous. Oh, that's so cute. I feel like I made a house for Clover a long time ago, like for a pet trainer and a writer. And that's not what Penny Pizzazz is. So maybe I should make another house for her. They want us to flirt again. So I'm going to do that. Oh, we got 776 simoleons. That is nice. And our romance satisfaction begins. So I can do a first kiss. I'm gonna go in for it. Oh, that's so nice. This is a lesson that you never give up on dating. But yeah, we have a gold level. So I'm gonna cheerfully end the date. I have other things to do. And she's a little stinky. So that's not good. But yeah, this is the photo we got. That's so adorable. So this is where the romance festival is, I believe. Yes, it says romance festival and geek con. So we're gonna go to the karaoke bar and we are gonna invite Carlos and hopefully he is in a better mood. I don't remember what happened last time. I think maybe it was just like a boring conversation. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. It's tomorrow. The romance festival is tomorrow. That doesn't mean we can't have a good time with Carlos. Maybe we'll sing a duet with him and then we can just chat afterwards. Sana swoop, blana, bloody jowl. <laughs> He doesn't have the best voice. Maybe. I think we sound decent. So does this build relationship? Oh, I think it does. Okay. Oh, so we're embarrassed because we didn't sound good, but that's fine. We can discuss healthy relationships, discuss fitness techniques because he's into fitness. Oh, he's embarrassed. That's not good. Maybe we won't flirt with him just yet. We can brighten his day. We can flatter him, deep conversation, and I'm gonna throw in a little flirt just to see if he likes it. Okay, so they're talking. That's good. Oh, he liked the flirt. Okay, that is good. He's still embarrassed. I want to get to know his traits. Okay, so we got a sentiment. You make my day so much better. So we're being mocked by Carlos because we learned that he is mean. So he can get lost. He can literally go away. I'm just going to go on Cupid's Corner tonight and hope we can find someone to get her pregnant. We can have a baby with Carlos. 
Because the thing is, I'm thinking, even though Carlos is mean, she's gonna be with him anyway. Like, you know, I can change him, she thinks. So she gets pregnant and then she's like, oh my gosh, maybe we should hurry up and get married because that's a part of the story. Because she has to rush her wedding before the babies arrive. That's a part of the rules. And I think, you know, sometimes people think like that. They think, oh, just because I'm pregnant, I have to get married. I don't know why they feel that way. I don't know. You can't really say it's for religion because if that's the case, like God knows everything. So I feel like it's more about what other people think and that's why, but I don't know. Anyways, I'm just curious to see what our matches would be. If we can get someone more cuter, that could be good. Oh, Jacob, he's a werewolf. I don't think that's a good choice. He's evil. Okay. Why would you even tell people that? I think I'm just going to stick with Carlos. I think he's cute. He's a cute guy. What if I give you a hundred dollars? I, I, I just want him to stay, so I'm giving him money. Are you happy? He's still gonna leave us. Oh, I added him to my family. I did not mean to add him to my family. And he's missing work. Well, he's active, he's childish, and he's mean. And he's attracted to my sister, but not to me. Okay, well, I'm gonna remove him from the family. We're just gonna go home. I don't want this to be a dating episode, but like, I feel like she needs to get pregnant this episode, you know? Do I just get a sim off the gallery that I think is cute. Is that something I should do? So I think we can probably check Cupid's Corner at 7 a.m. in the morning. Oh great, someone is probably grilling. Oh god, she's gonna get leftovers. Carson is grilling. I might not go to prom with Carson this episode just because I think that would be like a waste of our time. I'm gonna have her write a book because that's what she has to do for her daily tasks. So maybe she can write a romance book. Carson, you cook this so maybe you should eat it. I feel like I want to get rid of the grill because I feel like they just they use it a little too much. Ooh, body language. That's good. I'm gonna put it in his inventory. Like stop cooking every single time I come home. And for your job, you need to start programming. And then for your aspiration, you need to maintain focus for two straight hours of video gaming. I think we should buy the lamp that makes us focus. I don't really have a place to put it. Maybe I'll just put it on the floor and enable emotional aura. So so hopefully this makes her focused more than confident and I'll just have her start playing Sims Forever. She is uncomfortable because she ate spoiled food. Well, that's your fault. She's still not focused. I don't want to cheat anything, so I won't. But if she could somehow get focused, that would be good. Well, she's confident and he decided to clean my desk while I'm using it. Well, she has work in the morning, so I'm going to have her go to sleep. And Clover finished her book, so I'm going to have her self -publish. Publish. Okay, so it's 6 a.m. I'm gonna wake her up because she's focused and I want her to play video games. So I'm gonna have her play incredible sports and I just need her to do this for two hours straight. It says straight. So hopefully nothing changes. Oh my gosh, our sister, don't talk to us. We're busy. You want to write another book? Maybe you can write a short story. We are occupied. So I think by eight o'clock she should be finished with this task. Um, no one likes me no one ever will why bother with anything anymore i feel like he's probably asking clover this because i'm pretty sure benny and bailey have pretty good parenting skill so yeah he asked clover okay it should have been two hours right or am i tripping i woke her up at 6 a.m okay yeah that's good maybe she can check cupid's corner oh crisis resolution bailey's midlife crisis has passed that is so good okay please give us somebody beautiful and that has a good personality we have Lily. Oh, she's a kleptomaniac. Oh, he is cute. Oh my goodness. We're gonna add him to- Oh, not him. I didn't mean to add him. We still have Yoltik. No, I don't think we have Yoltik. I want to go on a date with him. So after she has work, we're gonna go to the romance festival. We have good compatibility already. He's perfect for us. Oh my gosh. I feel like I should clean up my panel. Oh, you know what? Carson did invite Carmine to prom and I feel Feel like I should probably go but at the same time I I don't know prom starts at 7 and then the romance festival starts at 5 p.m. when she gets off so I guess she'll have two hours to be out with Barry and hopefully that's good she is still writing her book I might have her go out with Kenny Pizzazz again so she wrote a book I'm gonna have her self-publish again I don't know what her skill is in writing but I assume it's pretty high she's level four I don't know why she can't sell to publish 
sure maybe it's level five that she has to do that. She said yes, so that's good, but I think I may have them quickly get together because she's not my main sim. So I feel like it's fine if things go a little bit fast. Maybe they can have like a gym date. I don't know. So this is the old one and this is the new one. So hopefully you like it. Okay, well they want a woohoo, but maybe we can just talk about exercise first and light physical intimacy. I guess we can kiss and maybe we can embrace. I don't know what my risky woohoo percent is on, but I kind of want to find out. I feel like I might want to turn it up a bit just because I don't mind if she gets pregnant. I just need a place to put it. So I got an island piece. Now I'm gonna just shrink it down. That way I can just place it on top of this counter. And I also think I might get the rock climbing machine. That's kind of what this room is for. Well, the thought is you could put a TV in it. And if you have like this pack, then you could work out with the TV. Or you could put the climbing machine in here. So if I go to MC Command Center, MC Woohoo, Woohoo Pregnancy, Risky Woohoo Percent, it is at 1%. But I'm gonna put on 50%. So it's half and half. Have. So they're just gonna woohoo in the shower. It's the only place to woohoo. Okay, so we're gonna take a pregnancy test. You never know, we might be pregnant. What does it say? I love that Penny is just watching us. Oh my gosh, you're lying. We're pregnant? She looks shocked. Oh, we're pregnant. Okay, she's gonna share big news, but no. I think there's a special option with the childbirth mod so we can share it by using the pregnancy test. I think that's how we're gonna do it in the gym bathroom. That's not so good. She's so cute. I mean, at this point, it feels like Clover is our heir. We've been spending all this time with her just because Calliope is so busy at work. She's looking. Are you happy? She seems happy. Oh, they're sharing a kiss. That's so cute. I hate this outfit. Girl, this is not good for photos. This is why we have to give her a makeover. Well, oh, she cannot work out when she's pregnant, can she? Or can she in her first trimester? I think she can in her first trimester. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm curious to know how many babies and what gender the baby is. But unfortunately for you, you don't get to see that. I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, I know you don't. That's such a cute interaction. Well, I guess they can maybe work out together. I'm hoping they run on the treadmill together instead of her doing push-ups. Like, they won't actually join you on the treadmill. I don't know. Can you work out with us, please? Encourage Penny to work out. Oh, look, she's doing it. That's good. I wish they were doing the same thing, but I think it's fine. Oh, are they in sync? Oh, I thought they were in sync for a second. So we need to talk about physical intimacy again. Oh, there's a werewolf here. Um, We have Lou here. Everyone is looking at him. Oh, we can already see her beautiful pregnant belly. That's so cute. I'm thinking we should probably ask her to be romantic partners. Oh my gosh, our romance is like way higher than our friendship. She said yes. We are romance level three and we are very satisfied. I'm gonna do the belly hug just to see what it looks like. That's so cute. But we have to use the bathroom very badly and no one grilled for us, unfortunately. So that's not good. The child birth mod is so good. Is this what being in love looks like? I wouldn't know. I'm gonna have to cancel it, unfortunately. And I guess we can get something to eat in the mini fridge. I'm gonna have her have some applesauce. Well, our date ends in eight minutes, so I don't think we are gonna have a gold level date, which is fine. That happens sometimes. So we got flowers. The flowers are cute. Honestly, I would probably love to give Gia and her kids a makeover. That would be good. It's almost 5 p.m., so so the romance festival should be happening in no time. So I'm gonna have her go back home. I'm actually gonna bring Calliope here so she can travel to the romance festival. And I'm gonna have her go with, I'm gonna have to invite him when I get there. Oh, are you serious? It's raining? Well, I have UI cheats in so I can make it cloudy if I want to. I think we could wear a nice sexy little dress and that is cute for the romance festival. So Barry will be right over. While we wait for Barry, I think 
think we might ask the romance guru a question. Maybe we can ask about our romantic destiny because so far it hasn't been going so well. Oh, he's here. Describe flirty dream about Barry. I don't think we should do that. We should probably just compliment his outfit. I do want to say that it sucks that we're dating Barry because he's so hot, but they do have to get a divorce. I don't know what the reason is, but my whole thing with creating that kind of story is you should never rush into marriage just because you got pregnant. It just might not be a good decision. Your true love is closer than you think. Okay, so it's Barry, but he's not our true love if we're gonna get divorced. I don't know. Maybe we can talk over here. We should just talk to him first and not try to flirt. And I'm also curious to know what his outfits look like because he is from the gallery. I'm just curious to know his style. So yeah, he looks pretty good. He doesn't have any like bad outfits. Oh, his voice is a little, I don't know. I was kind of expecting him to have a deep voice. So I might change that. Don't judge me, but we can brighten his day and then we can compliment his appearance appearance. Also, what's the rest of your traits? Oh, actually, no, I know all of his traits. We can discuss interests, mention flirty festival vibe, enthuse about cats, and right now I'm gonna throw in a little flirt. It seems he accepted it. I'm gonna do an impression, express admiration. Oh, promise starting. I think if I don't go now, I can't travel to prom later. So part of me is like, I should probably go. But another part of me is like, well, maybe she can forget give us if we decide to skip. Maybe if we travel there later, it will work. Do you like the petals? So this was actually shared the day that I'm making it, which is crazy. So Barry is by X Spooky Berries on the gallery if you want to download them. And they only use Island Living, Get Together, and Get to Work. And he is a human, if you can't believe it. We're gonna compliment his appearance. I honestly think it would be so cute if her and her twin sister is like pregnant at the same time. So part of me wants to like try for a baby. I don't think they can try for a baby just yet or not try but just woohoo and see what happens just because they haven't had their first kiss yet. So I'm gonna have her look deeply into his eyes. Maybe we can tickle. Oh romance satisfaction begins. So we're romance level three now. First kiss. Okay let's go. I'm not gonna lie I really wish they would change it to where sims don't look so shocked when you kiss them. I don't know I just don't think that's right but I'm gonna try oh no 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 we're not gonna try for a baby we're just gonna woohoo that's all we're just gonna woohoo in a venue closet and there's a 50% chance she will get pregnant and we're both very satisfied oh yeah I don't think Carson is going to prom tonight even if it did work if we traveled so yeah she's having her first woohoo in a closet that is insane oh she has low hygiene that has to be like the worst woohoo ever I just love the way they walk out of the closet like she had a crazy night it seems well I'm gonna have her use the bathroom and for some reason they decided to make these gingered bathrooms. Why is my mom here? She's singing karaoke. Well, it sounds like a good song. Anyways, we're not here for you, mother. Look at the nastiness. Like, you can see the green on her. Oh, she's not pregnant. You poor thing. You can see by the sadness on her face. She's like, oh, oh well. Well, I think that was a pretty good night. I am gonna bring Carson here. And yeah, it says resentful about no prom invite. But we did invite each other. We just didn't go. But I'm just curious to see, like, will this work? It's set for graduation instead of prom. Well, wait a minute. They are supposed to have prom tomorrow because it usually happens or no graduation on sunday because it happens on sunday so it looks like it's actually set up for tomorrow so that's good but maybe we can apologize like i'm sorry she's doing an impression so hopefully that's fine we're gonna offer her a rose oh she accepted it i guess we can go home she needs to take a shower so badly no one should smell that bad you should also maybe use the bathroom. It's literally 1 a.m. and I told her to take a shower. She decided to talk to her father instead, even when I told him to take a shower. Why are you not taking a shower? She's not finishing it. It's like she gets out as soon as I say, okay, go to sleep. Okay, so Clover is the first one up. I'm gonna have her get leftovers. And then our girl, I'm gonna have her wake up. And if we look at the Generation C rules, she has to complete the aspiration and complete the comedy, video gaming, and programming skills. She also needs to have two cats, twins, get married before the babies arrive, get a divorce.
hours a week before you can turn an elder. So I just thought I would remind us like what the rules are. So I think we should probably work on her skills today so we can work on like the comedy skill. Maybe programming is fine for now as well as video gaming. I'm gonna have her just practice her comedy routine or I guess just tell jokes. I can't believe we finally found someone for her. It took ages. I don't know why you're thinking of diapers if you're not pregnant. Like you're so funny. Oh my gosh, Clover has work. She gets off an hour before graduation, so that's good. Okay, so that's weird. I'm pretty sure we completed this part. And the only thing we were waiting on was have a child get married. It says be friends with three of your children. Um, wait, Pace? Who is Pace? I think maybe that's the child Briar adopted. Yes, okay, Pace. Just making sure we have Tasha. Tasha is a child. Well, look at this beautiful family tree. Houston has no kids, unfortunately. But yeah, you're friends with your children. You're fully maxed out with Carson and Calliope and Clover. I guess I'll cheat it. Maybe it's glitched because it's not even changing right now. Ooh, we're level five of the comedy skill. Calliope can now practice comedy routine at a microphone or mirror. She can also use a computer to refine comedy routines that she has already performed. Oh no, she threw up in our toilet. Carson, can you clean this up and mop the floor, please? He's very very playful from watching our performance. I feel like the comedy school is going really slow. Maybe we need to be like focused. I'm trying to think like what could we do on this fine day? And also I have nothing on these shelves so maybe I can put my scouting trophies up there. But I think I am going to have Calliope come sit down and maybe we could adopt two cats. Chester! I know it's not a cat but it's a cat okay? It's a cat in the sims. And then maybe I can get I don't know. Myrtle is cute. I'm just gonna like pull up the rules again. So it says have two cats. It doesn't say they have to be the same age. I think Myrtle is so cute. I'm gonna get both of them. So this is the little baby Myrtle. We're gonna do like a friendly introduction. Oh look at the raccoon. Oh my gosh, look. I honestly miss playing with this family. It's been too long. Okay, are you nice? Maybe I can pet you? We became acquaintances, so that's good. And then I'm going to introduce myself to Chester. Like, hi. So we're acquaintances, so they seem to be nice so far. I think I'm gonna keep the name Myrtle. Or should I change it to something like green themed? Just because Calliope likes the color green. So actually I'm gonna change the name to Caramel because I think that's a cute name. Well, nothing is working, so that sucks. I'm just gonna like add the cat to my family and say we adopted Chester. So hopefully that is okay. Also, should we get like a new picture? Because this one is old. I mean, like it's when they were teens and Carson was still like a child. So I think I might get one more. And I'm gonna put it over this door. And you can see her little baby bump. That's so cute. And I just love how Clivey is not holding her cats. I'm gonna randomize the pose. What if I change the outfits to like hot weather wear? So I'm gonna lock this portrait. That's so cute. Look, she wants kids so bad. She wants them so bad, but she can't have them. I'm so sorry. I love the outfit that she is in. Like it's so cute. And look how she's standing. Honestly, pets in this game is so nice to have. Even though they can be a little annoying sometimes but i think i should probably fill the food bowls oh my gosh every single time someone makes something oh benny made this and it's poor quality actually i feel like bailey made it but maybe since he took it out he made it i don't know oh look these pets are so cute oh my gosh after careful consideration i've brought a horse into the family are you coming over yay or nay Allie is literally about to die and she decided to to buy a horse so not only will your children and your husband is jeb like older than her i'm not sure i don't remember but your children are gonna have to take in your horse like is that really what you want ally i'll visit i mean she's gonna die soon so i definitely should probably visit her i hate to check oh my gosh i don't know why i checked Oh my gosh, I don't know why I checked. Like, am I gonna be here when it happens? I'm just gonna do a friendly introduction to the horse. Mom, please don't die. You're not allowed to die. Well, the horse is happy. Maybe she brought the horse for Gracie. I don't know what Gracie's traits are, but maybe that's who she bought it for. That could be fun for her. I'm just gonna be so sad when she leaves us. I'm gonna like mount the horse. Probably shouldn't be wearing sandals. Oh, well that's a picture to get. <laughs> 
Girl, I would have been scared. But no, she's smiling ear to ear right now. This is nice. Oh, she likes horse riding? Yes. Ooh, promoted to a vice columnist. She will now make an additional $12 per hour for a grand total of $88 per hour. Well, actually, I have to go because the graduation starts pretty soon. Yeah. Ooh, I'm horse riding level two. I never expected to get that, but I hope she doesn't die when we leave. That would be awful. Well, everyone is doing pretty good, actually, so... Okay, so it doesn't show up on the calendar for whatever reason. So we're just gonna travel there. Please work, I'm crossing my fingers. I think I only been to graduation once. And that's just because I usually forget the other times. High school graduation, welcome to Copperdale High School graduation. This is a gathering to celebrate your academic success. So take a moment to congratulate each other and reminisce about your memories during high school. This time will be open for socializing before the ceremony begins. Okay, so it worked and I don't think you should be wearing that Benny. Um, she's in her work outfit. That is not good. Oh my gosh. It's a week after school and she's already pregnant. A week is like a long time. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna wear... We do have a party look. Well, actually, no. Shouldn't they change into their robes? I'm just gonna change their outfits anyway, just in case it doesn't get changed for them. Maybe we can just sit down together. I don't know. The last time I played, again, I only been once, but my Sims, they were in their robes and they got a chance to like throw their hat. We're not in our robes, so I'm a little concerned. Well, Carson is hungry, so I'm gonna have him grab some vegetable stuff. And I guess we'll just wait until the ceremony begins. I can't get you out of my mind lately. Wanna go on a date? I'm gonna say no. Oh, he's the valedictorian. Okay, it's getting started. This is not the moment, please. I'm pretty sure we can like, click on her and get our thank you so we are getting graduated i don't know why we're not in our robes but oh my gosh we did it we did it we did it yay well they did a nice handshake hopefully our parents are proud of us it looks like it carson is gone he said i'm out of here the disrespect i tell you the disrespect she's looking at it like yes i finally have it Okay, it kind of sucks because we're not in our diploma outfits. So I gave them both just a simple robe in black. So hopefully this didn't glitch anything out. Hopefully everything is good and we can change into our... I don't even know what this outfit is. That's not an outfit I chose for her. I don't know if I can throw the hats, but... It... Oh, we're hungry, so maybe we can eat something. She's supposed to be showing off her diploma to this girl, but she's in the wrong direction. Oh my gosh, I knew it! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. No! Hi Bailey, I'm calling to let you know that Allie Harris has passed away. I'm so sorry for your loss. This is the worst. I hate this so bad. Well, we lost a grandparent and they're very confident because they graduated. Well, Benny is unsatisfied, unfortunately, as well. So that's upsetting. I guess we can just wait for this to be over. See, he threw his hat. I want to throw my hat. It's not fair. It's really not fair. This is bugged because it should have changed me into the outfit to do this. Well, I guess I can send everybody home. Look, he's gonna throw it again. Oh, I got left here. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, what I was gonna say is maybe we should travel to Allie's house and get her grave. I was supposed to record for one minute and 30 minutes and it's been two hours and nine minutes. So this goes to show like you just can't help it when you're recording. I, I was having fun, okay? And I don't even think we really been playing that long. It just feels that way. Well, here's her grave, Allie Harris. Oh my gosh, look at her picture. Why is it so squished? I just wanna say, the university picture like this is not squished so that is just proof that they can fix this issue and they choose not to and maybe I should console about death to my family members oh this house is really not built for a horse but I guess I can like build it I guess not you smiling in her face with your graduation cap. Like, I know you're trying to console her, but a little tap on the shoulder is not gonna help anyone. Oh, it finally hit her. I think we should just go home. I do wanna say I do have a graveyard, but I'm not sure if I wanna use it until the life and death pack comes out because I guess I could probably build something a little bit better. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode off here. Just real quick, she's in the third trimester in 12 hours. So that means she should have the baby at at 12 p.m. on Tuesday. So that will be fun. But if you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you. You are important. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.